Back to our coronavirus coverage now. Tests have been tough to come by in Arizona, and it's even harder for sheriff's offices across the state responsible for the thousands of men and women detained in county jails. ABC 15 Zach Crenshaw explains how they're trying to adapt. Every day, roughly 200 people are booked into Maricopa County's five jails, and with each new booking, potentially brings COVID-19 inside, and that could infect the hundreds of employees and 7,500 inmates for which the county has 15 coronavirus tests and has used zero. Hundreds of people that have tested positive for COVID-19 haven't shown any symptoms. You know, my fear is not if, it is when. Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone knows at any moment, the deadly virus could wreak havoc on his jails. We can't afford for it to spread. But right now, the county doesn't have near the number of tests needed to quickly identify and isolate the virus. Hi level of concern in a high priority. MCSO has 15 COVID-19 tests. Pinal County, meanwhile, we're up to 10 tests right now. Neither sheriff has tested any inmates yet. They're just screening new bookings. We're looking at symptoms such as temperature, such as coughs. We have a questionnaire like hospitals. Jails are rationing resources. Do you guys have enough masks, gloves, ventilators? No, no and no masks. We don't and ventilators we do. Already, the sheriffs are working to reduce their jail populations, telling deputies, think twice before booking misdemeanors. Use your discretion and use good judgment. Maricopa and Pinal counties have not started releasing nonviolent offenders yet. And those who commit crimes still have to be accountable. But Coconino County is working with their courts and let out 50 nonviolent inmates this week. We've discussed the future. We need to try to manage the reduction of our jail population in a very thoughtful and safe way. Because as Sheriff Penzone said, it's inevitable. COVID-19 will soon be in an Arizona jail, if it isn't already. Do you think someone in one of your jails right now is positive for COVID-19? If I say no, I'm naive. If I say yes, I, I, I provoke fear. In the same vein of criminal justice, Maricopa County Superior Court says their traffic is down 40%. And County Attorney Alistair Adele says her office is assessing which cases they charge given the need to reduce the jail population. Downtown tonight, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.